What is going on, y'all? This is Home Alone. I'm going to show you a method that I use to um, increase my happinesses to the max and to hatch eggs a lot faster if you're very busy. You don't want to sit down rolling around in circles. Here is my sure, fine way that you can AFK, raise your happiness, and hatch your eggs in a second. What's going to require is going to require you having a GameCube controller, right? You need your GameCube controller to do this method. And, uh, yeah, you're gonna need your GameCube controller. You're gonna need your, your Wii GameCube adapter. So this is how it works. So ideally when I was doing this, I wanted to find a way to uh, use rubber bands and hold these two together. Actually, you don't need to use rubber bands because I did an accident. Um, so what happened was, while I was holding this um, with the rubber bands, my GameCube controller plugged out. But when I plugged it in, something amazing happened. Um, I would call it a glitch. I don't know what you want to call it. But uh, when you plug in, I'm going to plug this thing back in. All right. So right now, GameCube controller is unplugged. What you have to do, set your motion to whatever so to make your character like ride clockwise and then you're gonna have your camera ride kind of clockwise or vice versa so this is what I do I'm holding left well I'm not sure it's gonna be distorted on the camera so in the, in the cameras it looks like I'm holding right but technically I'm holding left and I'm holding right with the GameCube controller I'm gonna plug this in when I plug this in this is what you're gonna do you're going to release the uh, two to two sticks, and then your character is automatically going to start riding its bike in a counterclockwise infinite loop circle indefinitely until the egg hatch or until you wake up or whatever have you. So, this is what I do I'm going to plug it in back into the GameCube controller. Alright, so you can see. It's a little unprofessional, but so you can see, oh my gosh, it's plugged, right? It's plugged in, right? Cool. So now I'm going to release it. Oh, look at that. And then your character is automatically going to keep going in a circle. Look, let me see, let me show you what happens when I touch it again. Release. There you go. I'm going to let that rock. I'm going to let you let that rock to an egg hatch. So let you know that this is legit. Home Alone found this out. Alright, shoot. Let you know I'm first. Um I believe they're Tyranitar eggs. So these Larvitars are gonna take a minute for them to hatch. So this is why you would wanna use this method anyway for Pokemon that take a long time to hatch, like uh, Tyranitar or um Pretty much the dragons of the series. Oh, hold on. All right. Make sure you have a colossal tool to make sure your eggs hatch faster. Your colossal has to have like uh, uh, one check summary. It has to have flame body for this to work. It's gonna keep going left and right. Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna. Alright. If it has flame body, your eggs are gonna hatch faster. And just let it rock.
There you go. Use this method. You need a GameCube controller to do this. By the way, for those who want some uh, Lavatars and some... Uh... Oh, excuse me, that's an SQ. <laughs> for those who want some Lavatars or SQs, whatever have you, I have a bunch of stuff I'm trying to get rid of. Just hit me up, um, send, me a, send me a message, and I'll hook you up with some of these stuff that I got. I don't have too much eggs and stuff. We got to get rid of them. Oh, perfect IVs and all that, too. I got you, guys. Take it easy.